Hello, everybody! Oh my god, you guys. We're here. Hello, Apparition, Luce, Vids, Nagels, Guffy Force, Eternal Magician, Ji Chan, Strom, I mean, Seorm, uh, Armora, Apparition. Oh my god, Beatrice. James, Die Kitty, Olive, Weebu, April Umi. Oh my god. We're here. Hello, um, Hello, Joe Crono. Oh my god. Yep, there will be a f yeah. I, I've I've heard that there will be an auto scroll. Yep, yeah, I, I shouldn't even bother reading it. Yeah, that is. Uh, I mean, I should just read it myself. Yeah. Oh jeez, crying. Why? Are you There's no need to cry. Oh my god. Last time we had the epic battle against Burncastle, Angie remembered herself as the Witch of Resurrection and she saved the day, brought everyone back in the meta world after life. And now it's just Hello Megas. <laughs> Now it's just time to. Oh my god. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready, you guys. I am not ready. I am not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, for those who. I've heard there's two endings, trick and magic. Apparently you saw guys should actually do the trick ending first, which is probably the bad ending. And uh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reload this save. It is going to break my heart choosing the trick ending, you guys, but oh, gotta do it to see all the content. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh God. Let's get into it for the final time. Oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead, Angie. Give your answer. Hello, Flared Nine. This is this a trick or magic? I know. I know what the answer is. <sighs> oh my god. If your answer is magic, open this door. If it's a trick, open that door. I had already decided upon my answer. Yeah, we finished Tsubasa. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh no. This is my answer.
I walked over to the door that represented the answer I had chosen. Then I put the golden key into the keyhole and turned to face everyone. I'm so sorry. The Ushermi Eagle never looks back. That's right. Sorry. I grip the key tightly and twist it. <sighs> then the key and the door flashed brilliantly and slowly faded away. Beyond the door was a strangely colored space. If I stepped into this, I will reach the future I choose. Chose, but before taking that single step, I spoke without turning back. <laughs> the Ushiromiya Eagle never turns back! <laughs> so I won't turn around, but I'll say this. Thank you, everyone. Hello, Tutus. Hello, Michael Pierre. Welcome to the stream. But this isn't goodbye. I'll always be with you all. Ah, yeah. You won't turn back. We'll all be standing behind you. That's not what I mean! <sighs> oh god, Angie, I hate making you choose this! I hate doing it! I hate it! <sighs> Despite it all, I still believe! I'm positive that everyone will come back. Angie. Angie. That is good. Angie. Angie. I look full. Oh god, yeah, that they mean when Angie dies for real. <sighs> Angie. I look forward to the day when we all meet again. Angie. Angie, my adorable granddaughter! Honestly, if, if I wasn't doing this on the stream, I would just choose magic and be done with it. Hello to your shadow. We may be away for some time. Here, don't forget this! Oh God. It's your prize for the quiz party. Oh God. Oh God. A gold butterfly flew over my shoulder, landed on my palm, and turned into a Beatrice doll. Sofa on the bed and this was lying next to me when I woke up on the sofa, wasn't it? This was my prize. Take it back to the future with you and treasure it. Thanks, everyone. I took a step forward. Forward into the future. I won't say goodbye, so see you later. We'll always be together. Hello, Vince. Welcome to the stream.
Oh god. A strong wind blew through my hair. My nose was filled with the smell of the sea. I must have been standing still for a very long time. Back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Oh god. Okay, so she's going to Rokunjima. Uh, just like before. This is a point cutting through the sea. I was standing on the bow of a boat. I was still holding that thing. Lady! If you stand around there too long, you'll freeze. Amakusa. Amakusa. So this is. Captain Kawabata's face peered out at her. You can see it now. That's the old Ushramiya family dog. Whoa! Not even a trace of it left. I see. So I've come back here. It's been a really long day, Trine. No, a long and windy side trip. No matter what sort of tales are woven or written about the past, they have nothing to do with my tale of the future. I swore to live life looking only at the future without turning back. If swearing that has a purpose, then this hasn't all been just a daydream. And besides, I brought back many things back with me from that long side trip. Some of those are even immediately useful. But yeah, this isn't going to do me much good. Oh my god! Oh my god! She really did bring it with her to reality! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah, the shaking, I wish I could turn it off. I threw the Beatrice doll into the ocean. What was that? Oh god. My regrets. I shed my old shell. So, with old broken Jima right in front of you, you're having to change your heart? That's not what I meant. I mean, I've had enough of being human. Huh? Wait, what? I won't waste that long journey. I must have now have a new way to live. And this isn't as the human called Ushermia Angie. I am reborn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Captain? Sorry, but would, would you mind leaving for a second? Hmm? Hello, Antra. How? Oh, Sima. Come on, you. Sure, whatever you say. Captain Kawabata went down at the driver's area. What is it, lady? Why the troubled face? Hello, Bats. I feel like taking a step into a new life. You already have. True. 
どこかに寄付でもしたらきれいさっぱり生成するわ。If I could sell off all the Ushermia family wealth that's burdening me, maybe donating it to some charity, that would be a huge relief. それで私は、ウシロミアエンジェという殻を全部脱ぎされる。Then I'd finally be able to escape from the shell called Ushermia Angie. Hello, Victor. Welcome to the stream. It seems a waste of all that money. You could do anything you wanted with it. Who cares? My point is that I don't need it. That may be true. Then again, not everything that you'd be selling off belongs to you exclusively. For example, Ushiromiya Group no Kabushiki toka? Are you talking about the Ushiromiya Group stock? So this. That's right. Ojo ni tote wa tada no kamikire de shoga. They may be a little more than scraps of paper to you. But doing something like that could shatter the whole company. I don't think my boss could bear to have that happen. Yeah, I know. It's like that for the Sumaderas and President Okonogi alike. I said, Jutan, a million years ago, I said, alternate universe where Battler never left. Umineko is an Otobe game star starring Shannon, and she has to choose between Battler and George. I'd play it. I'd play the fuck out of that. There are plenty of people who are in a tough spot because I can do as I please. There's no doubt that you're a VIP, Angie-san. Hello, lunatic thinker. Right after this, I am going back and making the right choice. Wouldn't it be better to chill out and hide away for now and just hold off and doing it on doing anything flashy? What would be the fastest and most convenient way to prevent this VIP from doing as she pleases? I wonder. Hey, that's a good question. Well, we could break out the drinks, tell each other our deepest secrets, and... Anyone could guess that the final destination of my journey is Rokunjima. And right now, Rokunjima is completely uninhabited. There is no one there. N no one to see or hear. Perfect day for a closed room. Well, yeah, that may be true. Angie, you remember! The Sumadera family is chasing me. They even managed to barge into President Okonogi's building with perfect timing. Yeah, I, I understand, like, other people might have a different right choice, but the magic ending is my right choice. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, like, if I wasn't streaming this, I wouldn't even give it a second thought, honestly. They even managed to barge into President Okonogi's building with perfect timing. Someone leaked the fact that I was there. Are you saying that my boss sold you out? 
なのにボディーガードをつけますかい<笑> Why would he give you a bodyguard? 私がどんな気まぐれを起こすかわからない以上。Since he doesn't know what sort of whims I'm going to act on. President Okunogi wants to have both the Sumadera family and me indebted to him. Hello, Sailor Moon. That way, you can sell information about me, let me slip away by a hair, and keep track of my whereabouts, putting both me and the Sumadera family in his debt while keeping a trump card in his hand. <laughs> You're definitely overthinking things there. <laughs> That's actually right on the money. <laughs> Fuck. Amakusa wore a forced smile, trying to smooth things over. We can be sure that the Sumadera family is chasing me. My actions are being intentionally leaked to them. Then we'll bump into each other on Rokunjima. I'll be killed by them. Damn! Angie is a lot better at this than Rika. <laughs> she, is, she got it in one or three, I guess. I mean, two, but whatever. Um, I will be killed by them. After that, you will kill the Sumadera hitmen. And President Okunogi will have a trump card to use in negotiations with the Sumateras. If I die, the Shimia group will be stable for the time being. Plus, they'll be able to draw the line with the Sumadera family. On the other side, the Sumadera family itself will be able to neatly do away with Aunt Kasumi, the leader of their overenthusiastic radical faction. Both sides will finish their bargaining with a draw, and everyone will be happy. Oh. That's a pretty interesting story you thought of there. That golf bag you brought with you. I've had a look at what's inside. Are you planning to start a war or something with all those guns? But it had a sniper rifle in it. Yep, I thought so. Would a bodyguard who's always by my side really need something like that? Well, you never know what might happen. Why would a bodyguard who works best when traveling light? Choose to abandon his position for a whole day to get a gun like that, and right before we leave for Rokunjima. Oh, Lady! You're overthinking this, okay? When I reach Rokunjima, yeah, Angie, you are a lot better at this than Rika. 
You'll suggest that I go visit the place they died or something, getting me on my own. That's the bait. The bait to lure in Sumudera Kasumi and the others waiting for me on Rokunjima. Damn! Angie, why are you telling him all this? After that, you'll use that ridiculously huge gun to round them up. The end. Well, what's wrong with rounding them up? Isn't that what a guard's supposed to do? Damn! In addition to a cutting edge sniper rifle, you also had a modern German submachine gun. Those are really handy. No matter how many people the Sumaderas have, I can clean them all up, no trouble. There was one more. A handgun. Even that the sniper rifle and submachine gun were the best and newest models, the handgun alone was beat up and old fashioned. See? Damn! Oh my god! Angie pulled the handgun out and pointed it at Amakusa. Oh, oh, yeah, man, I say. Get it out. This isn't funny. A handgun is something you always have to supposed to have on your person, right? So why would you go out and get a second handgun? And such an unusually old one. That's why she told him what her what she learned, because she had the gun with her the whole time. One theory can explain this. Damn, Angie! That is a big brain. Holy shit! What if it's the same kind of gun Sumadera Kasumi and the others are using? This is a Tokarev. A gun once used by the Soviet military, and which has gotten pretty popular, in the Japanese underground. It's exactly the sort of weapon the Sumaderas might be using. Also, having Sumadera Kasumi die would be convenient for the Sumadera family as well. They could have leaked, no exchanged information on their end as well. Therefore, it's possible that you knew beforehand that the Sam Sumadera hitmen would be using Tokarevs. Amakusa was speechless. Was he speechless because this was all true? Or because he was stunned at the determination with which Angie pointed the gun at him? That plan, the plan that you... No, the plan that all of you made together. It was to use me as bait to lure Sumadera Kasumi to an uninhabited island, setting it up so that both sides appear to finish each other off. That way, everything would be settled nice and neat for both President Okanogi and the Sumadera family. A single line of cold sweat dripped down Amakusa's forehead. With the wind whipping through her hair, Angie spoke coldly. Just 
just by the presence of this handgun. See how far Ushimiya Angie's reasoning has taken her. My god, that just... That does not... That sounds like something Erica would say. Rather than Angie. What the fuck? How did she figure this out? God. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? What do you think, everyone? Oh my god. What the fuck, Angie? Why are you being Erica? Oh god. Uh oh. You haven't taken the safety off. I know. Jesus Christ, Angie! Tokarevs don't have a safety. Oh my god! Amakusa tried to dive behind cover, but he could not run a bullet. It shot into his gut, making him double over in pain. Angie, who knew that he had a gun hidden in his pocket, then eliminated his chances of a counterattack. Jesus Christ! Blood spurted from Amakusa's forehead and he did not close his eyes again! What the fuck, Angie? What the actual fuck?! There's a perfect, certain way to confirm someone's death without a doctor. And it's the easiest one in the world. Hey, yo. Oh, God! Kawabata stuck his head out and his face went pale when he saw that gruesome scene on the deck. Are you serious, Angie? This time, Angie pointed the barrel of the gun at his forehead. Before we left, you said you needed a bit more time to get the boat ready. However, if you've been bought... Then we can say for sure that you were buying time so that Sumadera Kasumi could set up her ambush on Rokujima. I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. God damn it, Angie. You're a cat box, inside of which is a Kawabata who was bought and betrayed me, and a Kawabata who hasn't betrayed me. Now then, how can I kill the one who betrayed me? Stop! Don't shoot! Jesus Christ! I just have to shoot the whole cat box to death! What the fuck, Angie? This music! Oh god. The boat's owner slumped back over backwards and fell. Then with the second bullet, she performed a perfect examination of his corpse. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, there is no way in hell you can reconcile this with episode four. There's just none. None. Zero. Zilch. No way. Not a single way you can reconcile this with episode four. She has survived. Surely she had, she had survived the web-like conspiracy that had been wrapped around her so cleverly. Angie returned to the bow of the boat, faced the strong winds head-on, and then peered into the future in front of her. The boat whose owner was gone, headed towards the endless horizon, on and on in a straight line. I hope you know how to drive a boat, Angie! She prayed that the truth she truly desired to reach lay before her. Then she heard the sound of clapping. 
The sound of clapping on a boat where Amakusa and the captain were no more. However, Angie didn't look surprised. She calmly and slowly turned around. Oh god, yeah, this is, yeah, not magic and my ass. Totally wrong. This is magic con confirmation times 50. Are you fucking, oh my god! My fellow Richard Truth, Angie Beatrice. Oh, you're here, Erica. Anytime someone wants to express the truth, you'll find me there. <laughs> hey, Erica. What? The boat had already passed by Rokunjima. Are you fucking seriously? How could you possibly? EXPLAIN THIS WITHOUT MAGIC! The boat had already passed by Rokunjima. The island silhouette was now off in the distance. The boat headed towards the endless horizon, continuing on its endless journey. The new Witch of Truth announced the beginning of this endless journey to her fellow witch. I'll carve out my future in my own way. Sounds splendid. At the end, will there be a truth for me to find? Just what sort of truth could you be looking for after all this? <sighs> My god, this is like... Oh god, this ending. What the actual fuck? <laughs> You're right. I know that the truth isn't worth anything. And there's only one, and there's one more thing I figured out. I think, honestly, I think Ryukushi did this as a fuck you. This setting is basically a fuck you to people who, who would insist that there's no magic in the story at all. I think, like, like, like someone who's, who was determined until the end to not think there was any magic in the story. And, um,. They say, okay, I'm gonna pick the trick ending. And like, and then Ryukushi's here just saying like, fuck you, there's magic. Indisputable proof right here. I know the truth isn't worth anything. And there's one more thing I've figured out. What's that? Oh god, it's auto scrolling! Good. Oh god. Oh my god, and oh wow. Defies prediction. Oh my god. Truth doesn't matter, just the piss me. Oh my god.
You're right, it's not exactly a bad or a good ending either, exactly. Oh my god, but this seriously... Yeah, I... Uh, but this is like... Basically indisputable proof. That magic is real in the story. In terms of the story. My god! Ikuko, Shimi and Leon, Will, Claire, Featherine, Lambda Delta, Burncastle, Peter Erica, Eva Triss, Virgilia, Renove, Cop, Sapar and Purper. Oh my god. All oh, the seven stakes. Oh my god. I can't wait to do the magic ending. Oh my god. Beatrice, of course. Oh my god. Twilight of the Golden Witch N1 created. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, well, that's it. Thank you for this let's play. Uh, you know, see y'all later. <laughs> I'm done. No, I'm just obviously. Let's go back and do the right thing. Oh my god, okay. Ah, uh, no. Let's see. If that was supposed to be like the bad ending, I can't wait to see, um... Oh, how good this ending is. Oh my god. Lowering volume to one? Oh, was it going to be some romantic Battler and Beatrice stuff? Totally. <laughs> I hope so. Oh my god, it's probably going to be really romantic, I bet. I hope so, at least. Okay, we've I've seen this already. Hell yeah! Magic, bitch! Okay, let's see. Woo! This is my answer. You know, okay, you guys think I'm gonna Oh my god, jeez. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my own volume down just so that um if I'm gonna be really loud. I'm try I'm gonna turn my own volume down. I hope you guys can still hear me. If you can't, um, if you can't hear me, then, um, yeah, then please tell me. I'm I turned my volume down a bit. I walked over the door that represented the answer I had chosen. Oh, this part is the same. I can skip it. Okay. Turn away from the chat. All right. Okay. Oh, goodbye, everyone. Oh, my God. Back to reality, Angie. Don't turn my volume down. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, turn... Okay, I'm keeping my audio as it was. Okay. All right. That's... Okay. Let's see. Oh, my God. Then the key in the door flashed brilliantly and slowly faded away. Beyond the door was a strangely colored space. <laughs> okay, this is the same. You sure me, Eagle, never turns back! So I won't turn around, but I'll say this! Thank you, everyone! But this isn't goodbye! I'll always be with you all! Don't look at the chat. Okay. Uh. 
Yeah. He won't turn back. I'm not going to be looking at the chat for a while, you guys. I, I, I minimized it so I cannot hear what you're saying. Okay, see what you're saying, rather. But we'll always be standing behind you. That's not what I mean! Despite it all, I still believe! I'm positive that everyone will come back! Angie. Angie. That is good. Angie. I look forward to the day when we all meet again. Angie, my adorable granddaughter. We may be away for some time. Here, don't forget this. It's your prize from the quiz party. This time, Angie will treasure it. A gold butterfly threw over, flew over my shoulder, landed on my palm, and turned to a, into a Beatrice doll. <sighs> this was lying next to me when I woke up on the sofa, wasn't it? This was my prize. Take it back to the future with you and treasure it. Thanks, everyone. I took a step forward. Forward into the future. I won't say goodbye. So, see you later. We'll always be together. Oh god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh my god, what's gonna happen? The wind brushed against my cheek. I slowly opened my shut eyes. Oh, okay! Damn! Oh wow, she was sent back in time! Oh my god, okay. I must have had my eyes closed for a very long time. Even the sparkles below me seemed blindingly bright. It was a strange world, with a sea of stars beneath me. The wind was cold. However, it told me that I had returned to reality. I was standing with one foot outstretched over that starry sea. How long have I been here? Time has probably been stopped for me ever since Burn lured me forward when I was about to take that step off the edge. I slowly pulled my foot back in. Woo! Then I leaned the, against the fence and sat down. The sky was far away, but so was the ground. Thank God she was able to go back this far. This time. This whole time I've been in this sad place, so far from both of those worlds. I can't go to the sky. In that case, I have to return to my world. And the elevator is probably the way to go. Yeah, I'd say you have, Angie. Given how many times Burn Castle freaking, freaking warped you into fragments where you died. Seriously. I've done enough skydiving. Yeah, there really is no chance. No chance of me jumping down from here and surviving by some miracle. Some which of miracles is already guaranteed with certainty that such a miracle won't occur after all. Yep. Then I finally noticed them. It was the guards President Okanogi had assigned to me. They were approaching the fence with forced smiles and sweat dripping down their faces, trying not to startle me. That's right. I gave these guys the slip before jumping off, didn't I? No. Not this time, Angie. 
Did you think I was gonna jump? So, so, so. Well, that's a. Sorry. If I jump. Oh, damn. I guess you really catch it from Okanogi san. Woo! She's bypassing the entire situation by changing her choice at the beginning. Angie san is dangerous there. For now, please come back to this side. Let me stay here a bit longer. It's okay. I won't get any sudden ideas. Do any of you have a cell phone? Uh, uh, yes! I want to talk to Okonogi-san about something. Would you mind calling him? The guards looked at each other, then rushed to take out their cell phones. They were worried that I might get annoyed and jump off, leaving them to take the blame. The, the president has picked up. Here. Thanks. Hello, Okonogi-san? Yeah. Sorry for calling all of a sudden. No, it's excellent news. A bit of an early Christmas present. Oh, Angie, thank God. Now no one has any reason to kill you. Oh, thank God. I'm giving all of the Ushirmiya group to you. That's right. In exchange, I have a few things I want. As she gazed down at the sea of stars spread out on the ground below her, Angie spoke. She spoke of how she would live from now on. Ushirmiya Angie's strange and mysterious adventure ends here, right where it started. But my life will continue. After all, there's already something for me to do. I am Angie Beatrice, Witch of Maria Sotier! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, my girl, you ain't no witch of truth! Shimmy Angie just fell from here and died. I am the witch, Angie. I'll live as a witch. Woo! Oh. <sighs> that is just sweet. Oh my god. So Angie and I guess Kasumi is still alive too. Oh, hello, Feathery. <laughs> and so your game ends. As Angie opened the door and vanished from sight, the res residents of the Golden Land disappeared as well. I wonder where they're going. Probably back to the cat box. Afterwards, only Battler could still be seen. He had now done everything he could for Angie. Close the door. Wasn't there some rule to be followed when closing this door? Eh, so you? Oh, Beatrice, you're back! Yes, that's right. The rule said that you needed two people to close it. Hey, Aunt Eva. I told you to stop talking to me like I'm an old lady! The two of them stood to the left and right of the door that Angie had vanished through. Angie? Angie. Uh -oh. Find happiness in your future. After all, we'll always be with you. Then the two of them held their hands out in front of them. Where's Beatrice? As they did, a door popped into existence and closed. Then the door itself faded away. 
And now we have completed our role. Yeah, this marks the end of the piece's purpose. You have worked hard, both of you. And with this, I shall clean up your game board and put it away. Slowly, the world melted. At a glance, it looked as though the city of books was starting to fall apart. But that wasn't it. Battler and Eva's world was being cut off from the city of books. Yep, they're being warped out of there. The world broke apart bit by bit, and the ceiling would finally fall in soon. <laughs> Bye, Eva Tress. I wonder what you're going to do in this world from now on. This is goodbye. Battler-kun. Battler -kun. Ah, yeah. Matana. See you later. And someday, I'll leave Angie in your hands, Aunt Eva. At least at the end, try calling me Eva Nason, would you? Hey, Erica. You lost. Matana. Erika. See you later, Erica. Somewhere, someday. But Angie and I were witches of truth. So, just what was the difference between us? <laughs> yeah, what could it be? I was in between Jordan but I turned my back on that truth. However, even after she learned the truth, she still continued to believe in her own truth. If she is a true witch of truth, I don't know what kind of... Oh, sorry. And what kind of witch was I? So that, uh, That's right. You aren't a witch. <laughs> yep, the greatest detective that ever lived. After all, you're the detective. I'd forgotten! We'll meet again someday. Have some more epic battles. Wherever there's a crime, the detective's sure to be there, right? Yes! When another crime occurs in Dushimiya family, I promise to appear! So long, great detective. Greatest that ever lived. So long, my rival! The greatest rival to ever live! I look forward to the day when the two of us can cross blades again! <laughs> Those were the final words the two ever spoke to each other. <laughs> they switched to those expressions, that was... A terrible roar and a cloud of dust blew, blew by, covering everything. And then everything vanished. Nothing remained. Battler and Evatrice were both gone. The city of books was wrapped in silence. It's all over. Yes! Take care of my pet cat. Now I shall go too.
こちらの世界でも片付けねばならぬのでな。There are some things that must be cleaned up in this world as well. Yep, Burn Castle is still KO'd from before. Now she's gonna. I think, she, yeah, she's gonna go back here and I think she might just、uh, rip up the book or something like that or like decide not to show it. When Hachijo made her announcement, everyone fell silent, thinking they had misheard her. Before too long, the crowd exploded with a shower of questions about what she meant by this. That's too cruel! You can't do that after dragging us along that far! Madam, I, I keep forgetting what noise, what, what freaking voice I gave him. Oh, yeah, I'll just give him n o n j o k Madam Machiro, we've come from far and wide to see it, yes? How can you do this? No! I will say it again. I've changed my mind. Yeah! Ushamir Eva's diary will not be made public. After all, I'm the fraud! This is all fraud! So, you are really Ushamir Eva no Nikki なんですか Was it really Ushamir Eva's diary? Anta no Netsuzo Jia nine ですか He sure wasn't a fabrication you created. You think you can get away with something like this? Show us the book! Children of men can be so hideous. Damn, I think this is the first time I've seen freaking Feathery and get pissed off. My God! Neither you nor I have the right to read what lies in there. However, now that I think of it, this has been quite an entertaining show. Children of men who disturb the sleep of the dead and spread rumors for their own entertainment can be quite amusing at times like this. Let us go, Ben. I have had my share of entertainment for the night. A very feathering thing to say. A black cat jumped onto Hachijo's shoulder, and she disappeared off to the side of the stage, and the book of the single truth in her arms. Only the angry yells of the massive crowd remain. I gotta say, if anybody took like a freaking、uh, plane to get there, Like, they, they got, they, like, or like, changed any plans, like, trap plans they'd held to get there, they'd be really pissed. My god. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, a couple of people sued her. Only the angry yells of the massive crowd remained. And so the people began to lose interest in Ushur Mia Eva's diary, doubting whether it had even truly existed. Though the weekly magazines were in an uproar over the scam m a c h i j o t o y a had pulled, some began to openly wonder if the Rukujima mystery itself was indiscreet de- desecration of the dead. 
I don't think a little thing like this will allow Rokunjima to rest in peace. However, it did create an atmosphere where people were slightly more hesitant to openly show interest in the Rokunjima mystery. An op unopened cat box is eternal. Rokunjima will probably never find peace. However, even so, compared to how it was before, life will surely be easier. Because as the years pass, the dust will slowly pile up on it, where it lies in the depths of oblivion. At the bottom of the deep sea, known as the depths of oblivion, the cat boxes of the witches will probably get slowly buried as the years pass. Feathering threw a single gold rose into that sea, an offering to let the cat box rest in peace. With the tale of that golden rose, let us mark the end of this long story. In the darkness, there was a massive roar and an earthquake. When it passed, dawn began to rise over the endless night. Damn, this is like freaking Majora's Mask here. We're Majora's Masking this ending, aren't we? Oh my god. Where, where am I? Oh, I want to see what happened before this! Like how they met up and shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. of an old submarine base. Don't you remember? It's where it all started. Did she give him like a freaking history lesson or something? <laughs> the place where we first met two generations ago. <laughs> So you who knew what it all romantic good Sounds pretty romantic if you put it that way. Battler and Beato could be seen in the ruins of Broken Jima's underground submarine base! The cave's mouth open to the sea, and the gentle sound of the waves drifting in along with the cries of the seagulls! It seems that the typhoon, which had closed off the island for two days, had finally gotten bored and gone away. Oh my god. Beato went down to the shore and lifted up a large sheet. Beneath it was a motorboat. Of course, it wasn't from the time of the war, it was modern. Pile this up on the boat. Careful, it's heavy. Wow. <laughs> that was funny. Whoa. Yeah, you guys, uh, you're gonna need some money. Start your new life together. This is the gold ingot. <gasps> I was already exploded! They're in the clear! They're in the clear! Oh my god, 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 oh my
I thought they all got buried. I thought something like this might happen. So I snuck this one out beforehand. The single heavy gold ingot was dropped into the boat. I'm not sure how much this is worth by itself, but it must be quite a lot. Have you ever driven a motorboat before? You're joking, right? It's easy. I'll teach you. She wasn't used to this, but after several mistakes, Theato finally got the engine started. Oh, that would be funny to see, like, in an animated version. If there was one. If you go out that way and hop from island to island, you'll see Nijima before too long. Then you can just land on a sandy beach. Aren't you coming? Of course she is! Come on, no! I cannot. I am the master of the Golden Land. I cannot leave this place. What's to be gained from staying? What's to be gained from going? Let's live. Yes! I cannot. Wait, when is this taking place? I thought this was from episode 7 Tea Party. I've already committed countless sins in countless worlds. The number of lives I have taken, the number of sins I have committed, is far too great. Yay, Battler! You're saying exactly what I was saying before. Uh, but you haven't committed any sins in our world. No, that is not true. I think it is. Battler, oh my god, he's falling in love with her all over again! Go. Go while I'm still in a good mood. Otherwise, I may seal the island in a storm again. Battler suddenly spun around. When Beato turned around to see what was going on, her body was suddenly lifted into the air. <gasps> Nara. Then I'll take you back as a souvenir from the Golden Land. Let go. This isn't safe. Come on, don't freak out. Listen carefully, Beatrice. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! You're not on a white horse, but you're on a white motorboat! Oh my god. Oh my god, I think it's white at least. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, 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 oh my god,
as Battler quietly gazed at it with serious eyes, Banjo was lost for words! <laughs> oh my god. If you've sinned, then I've sinned as well for making you do it. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! So let's carry your cross together. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Battler. Shogai. <gasps> as long as I live, Omae no Jujika will sasai rukara. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, so this is why you said to turn down the volume! Oh my god! 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 Oh these two are my everything! Oh my god! 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 I'll carry your cross. Let's leave the Golden Land. Together. <gasps> Beato was now too shocked to say anything at all. Then tears poured from her eyes and she covered her face. <sighs> Battler gently sent her down on the boat. He undid the mooring ropes. Now there was no longer anything tying this boat to the island. Exactly. Let's go. Controlling the boat as Beato had taught him, Battler slowly guided it out. I was warned about something, but this is like the happiest. Oh my god. This could not be happier. This could not be happier. When they passed out of this dimly lit cavern, they were immediately struck with the bright rays of the sun and surrounded by a crowd of white seagulls. As the seagulls flew this way and that, the feathers they dropped in the water seemed to celebrate the boat's departure. Brilliant sunlight told them that they were now free of the island's curse. The sky, now freed from the seal of the typhoon, seemed too bright to be real. Oh my god. Feeling hot, Battler took off his jacket! Come on, you two! was swept away by the wind and danced through the sky. However, instead of panicking, Battler just smiled as he watched it go. Beato also watched it go. No, she watched the island go. Rokujima and the golden land she has spent a thousand years in. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the CG! Woo! And it is a white motorboat!
out. Yes! I knew it! Will I be able to live? You will. Oh god, Beato, it's okay. We'll get you everything you need. You won't have a magical butler, but there's all sorts of useful stuff out there. There's no end to the things you couldn't find on Rokunjima. I'll show you what the world's like. Hell yeah, Battler! Oh god, Beato. I know. Technology's gonna get better. Oh god, I think they have some stuff right now that could help, too. Oh god. And Battler's family is rich. He's gonna inherit the whole thing in this fragment, at least, I think. Oh my god. Will I be able to live? Beata repeated the same words again. Battler knew what she meant. However, no matter what answer he gave, he wouldn't be able to resolve her problem now. However, there was a way to resolve it. Time and the heart. Little by little, bit by bit. Like a charm, a chain being cut by falling drops of water, he would have to sever the curse of the island gradually, over a long period of time. <laughs> oh my god. It might take a long, long time. However, someday she will be free. That's what I believe. <laughs> I am a sinful witch who toyed with hundreds of deaths on that island. Your world is too brilliant for me. Hell yeah, Battler! No, you will live. I answered immediately and forcefully. If you think you need to atone for hundreds of sins, then keep on living and living. Live as hard as you can with everything you've got. That's the only way you can atone. Is that truly the only way to atone for my sins? That's right. And you'll definitely be able to do it someday. Trust me. Come on, don't look at me with those teary eyes. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Forgive me. Then, at the very least, would you close your eyes? Yes! W why should I? Hey, your face is pretty close. <laughs> Foolish man. <laughs> you ought to be cursed for taking the witch away from the Golden Land. <laughs> That's why you must close your eyes. <laughs> You two! Oh my god, with all the freaking sexual references both of you two have made. Not even me saying it, but in the main fucking story. 
You guys, when it comes down to it, are just a bunch of little kids. Oh my god. It's embarrassing for me too, okay? As soon as Battler shut his eyes, soft lips come in! Yes! 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 Touchdown! Yes! Finally! Slowly drew back. He tried to open his eyes, but just got slapped. <laughs> Don't look. I told you not to look at my face. <laughs> Come on, what's there to lose? <laughs> you have no delicacy. <laughs> Don't open them. Not yet. <laughs> Why? It's everything! 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 Everything I could have ever hoped and dreamed! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And we don't even have the tea parties yet! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god! 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 Because I want to kiss you again. The next kiss was on his earlobe. No! Banjo's getting on! Yeah! Hey, hey, quit it! Oh, hush, Battler. Let me show you what a thousand years of experience can do. <laughs> now this is getting really embarrassing. He knew he'd get hit again if he opened his eyes, so he resisted with his eyes still shut. Then, after sighing and tickling his ear, Berto spoke in her usual cheerful, bullying voice. Sorry, Battler! I'm oh, a terrible, atrocious witch! Yeah, I know. You're a cru evil, cruel witch. And so, I cannot atone for my sins. Well, sure you can, Beatro. I believe in you. Uh, after all, I'm the sort of witch who can cackle over hundreds of deaths. You're really something, you know that? Beato, he loves you. He loves you for you. He loves everything about you. He loves you, Beato. He loves you. He loves the the golden endless witch. You, Beatrice. He loves you. But you wouldn't be you otherwise. 
he accidentally opened his eyes. And when he did, the witch was nowhere to be seen. Huh? Oh, wait, what? The golden witch had vanished like a dream or an illusion. And so had the single ingot that he had carried with them. Did they not even... Was this battler's delusion? No way. What is going on? Battler jumps. So, there's no made in time. Made in time. See the witch again. What? What? What's going on? The witch looked up at Battler. A faint smile on her face. He couldn't hear any any words. And he uh, clearly. <laughs> Oh god, Valor! You gotta get her! Valor, no! Oh god, I don't think I don't think I don't think I do I don't think 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 Oh my god. No, no! No, no, god! No! How once Butler rose toward the world and lied the witch said, No! 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 Hugged each other tightly, fainted, and tried to tear them apart again. The two became one and sank into the abyss together. So then, nothing was visible in the black world. Then, warm golden sparkle. The golden rose. Valerie, right, you gotta save them. それは静かな海の底。<笑>
I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, seriously. I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for that. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was not prepared for that. I, jeez. Oh God. Why? Why? 
Ai! 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 It's not the end. I just... Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh God. Why? Why? I'm going to finish it. Yes, I will, Victor. Hold on, let me just... I just need to clear out my nose. Oh god, my ear is... oh god. <laughs> oh god, okay, gee, Chad, I can see. Hold on, my ear is just like... Oh my god, there's a lot left. Wow, I'm glad. How could you reverse this? God. Oh God, oh God. Oh God. Oh God, oh God. Oh god, oh god. God damn it. Damn it. Why? God, I'm sorry. I just hold on. I just need. I need to get a drink. I. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm sorry, God. I need to get a drink. I.
Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I just, oh God, hey, hey, guys. A black luxury car was parked at the re-entrance. Uh, the skyscraper. Men wearing suits were packing a heavy looking attache case into its trunk. <sighs> Let's handle all the rest. Let me handle all the rest. We'll take care of all the complicated details. I'm counting on you. Auntie Eva trusted you more than anyone. So I'm sure she's glad this is all in your hands now. Out of the building came Angie and President Okanogi. Angie's expression was peaceful. It was hard to imagine that this was the same person who'd always looked so dark in Okanogi's eyes. And in her later years, the company president was very ill. I imagine that she said some fairly harsh things to you. But I don't believe she truly meant them. Oh I know. Even I said things I shouldn't have on my bad days. You've changed. So? You think so? I thought you'd never forgive the president as long as you lived. Wait, was that... Damn it. Okay, that was Okanogi. I thought I could never forgive the president as long as you lived. You're the one who's ta taught me, Okanogi-san. I, I did. Did I say some? Without love, the truth could not be seen. Did I really say something that pretentious? You did in another fragment, Okanogi. <laughs> it's been a long journey. It really has been a long journey. I'll just understand what you told me that day. Of course, Okanogi under understood. He understood that in her heart, this had been a long, profound journey. Contact me when you decide on a new home and account. I won't let you want for anything. Any problems with the Sumadera family? Oh yeah, James, I can see that because 
Okunogi has the biggest part in Sekonia compared to uh, Huji Higurashi and Umineko. So, like, you, I think it's easiest probably to think of Okunogi as a Sekonia character. Leave that to me. We have the power of attorney as our rallying point. Rallying point. Thanks to that, the Ushiromiya group is united front. Because of what you did, Angie Chan. The business built by the former president has been protected. And I truly believe she'd be joyful at your decision. I'm just pushing all the hard stuff on you. When the great president Ushimiya Eva passed away, Ushimiya group was shaken. There was no clear successor, so the group had been in danger of splitting. After that, everyone had been waiting to hear what Angie would say, since she had inherited a large portion of the group's stock. However, Angie had shown no interest in any of this, and had gone around talking about things like selling all their assets and donating everything to some charity. Should shake in the group even further. There had even been a chance that an outsider, such as the Sumadera family, would interfere and destroy the Ushermia group. As disturbing as it may seem, some had wished for the source of all this trouble, Angie, to disappear. However, Angie had undergone a change of heart, deciding to, what, to do what was best for the Ushermia group that Eva had built up, and the worst case scenario had been avoided. Okunogi had been named it as Angie's legal guardian. By simply giving her him her trust, Angie now had him as the most reliable ally possible. Okunogi himself had certain plans he could carry out based on the knowledge that Angie trusted him. Okunogi, who had carried great responsibility in the Ushimiya group, thanks to his position at as Eva's close confidant, was the most natural choice to be Eva's successor for the top spot. And thanks in part to his ability, everything had now been wrapped up smoothly. This way, the Ushimiya group was secure. The Ushimiya group had been the only thing still tied to the Ushimiya name, other than Angie herself. She might have thought of it as her final link to her family. You know, you're free to come back anytime you want. We have a chair set aside just for you. Thanks. Just knowing I have a place to go back to means I can set off on my journey in peace. What are you going to do from now on? Really, Angie? Interesting. I'm going to become an author. An author? To write novels? Doesn't matter what. Could be novels or picture books. If I have any skill at drawing, maybe I'll do a manga. What I do doesn't matter. As long as I can share my heart with someone. So 
Sounds like you've set a noble task for yourself. I'll be praying for your success. Thanks. If I manage to publish a book, I'll sell you a copy. I look forward to it. The car's truck was closed with a clunk. Apparently, all of her luggage had been loaded. So that. Uh, yes, allow me to introduce you to the driver. He's a protege of mine. He's trustworthy. And you can rely on him for anything. Well, when he worked as a guard for the old president for many years. So you might, rec so you might recognize him. As long as it is as it, as it is an Amakusa. <laughs> yeah. Two. Yep, of course it is. Of course it is. The man walking out of the driver's seat sneezed. So this is Now that hurts, lady. Amakusa. Amakusa, what the hell have you done to her? Well, he was always the most flippant of Aunt Eva's guards. I was hoping for pretty much anyone else. And he also tried, you know, and he also killed me in another dimension, but you wouldn't understand that. But he was also the one closer to you, wasn't he? Well, at least listening to him talk can be pretty entertaining. The boss assigned me to be his contact with you. If you ever get into any sort of trouble, just let me know. What if I ask you to go buy me toilet paper? Then I'll pick up some tampons too while I'm out. See? The guy's a creep. Yeah, seriously. Okanogi guffawed. I got into the back seat. Stay well! Angie chan. I guess it's the last time anyone will call me by that name. Oh, she's changing her name. Oh. Let me know when you've decided on a new one. Okanogi patted the roof of the car. At that signal, Amakusa honked the horn and removed the handbrake. So, until you've decided on a new name, I guess I'll be calling you Lady. That's fine for now. Okay. Where are we going? North, South. Any recommendations? Why don't we try leaving the main island? I suggest Hokkaido. Huge meadows, giant clouds. Novels written stories in a log cabin? Sounds awesome. Great, let's head south. I was planning to do the opposite of whatever you said anyway. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty harsh. I'd like to go someplace hot. 
A town with a view of the sea. Angie closed her eyes. Things have been pretty crazy lately and she was tired. Understood. The time you open your eyes, you will be in an unfamiliar land. But it'll be a warm town with a view of the sea. Can't wait to see what you choose. The car got onto the freeway. It was surrounded by the great river of cars heading east and west. <laughs> There's a reference to the friggin' riddle. By now, no one could tell which of those points was the car she rode in. Starting today, I'm sure me and Angie would change her name and live a new in a new climate. Changing her name didn't mean that she had given up on being Angie. This was Angie's. No, Angie Beatrice's mission. I'm Angie Beatrice. The golden and endless witch of resurrection. A witch of Maria Sorcier. The final the final witch, who is still alive in the future called 1998. <sighs> oh, God. This, uh... Oh, God. Characters have... Oh, that's an achievement. New elements. Awesome. Hey. Wow, okay, there's the new title screen. Tea party. Please. I really just... Oh, God. Oh, boy, let's see what's going on. Oh jeez, okay. Tea party time. Yeah, which one was better? Oh god. Oh boy. Back to the library. The majestic witch of theater-going drama and spectating set down her pen, looked at the ceiling and sighed deeply. The desk was covered with a scattered mountain of paper with covered with writing. Words were packed onto pages in a thin, high information density language that only the great ones could read. Each letter of this language carried the same amount of information as several books in the human world. Damn! That's incredible. These letters filled every inch of this huge pile of paper. Surely she'd written out every little detail of some word, world. Yes, I have written it all. Though to be accurate, I have not truly written it all. She stood up, sat down in her favorite rocking chair, and rocked peacefully for a while. How far must one write before they can say they've written it all? That is what has bothered me in all my years of writing. The 
The adventures of humans can be very interesting as a tale. しかしどこまでが冒険でどこからがそうではないのかが私をしてもいまだによくわからぬのだ。Thanks. Thanks, Vegas. Oh my god. Have a good day. Yep. Good luck with your stuff. Thanks. However, even I still don't know what that is. When that adventure stops being an adventure. Who is she talking about, I wonder? My old friend who is now gone. I wonder if this is a Siconia thing that is gonna. Lead into Siconia. I don't know. One said that a human's life is an adventure from beginning to end, so there is never a correct time to set down one's pen. I do not agree. I think one must put away the pen at some point. I really want to write a tale to the appropriate point, then leave the aftertaste and opinions of the minds of the spectators. Tsumari Monogatari wa tekitou na tokoro de nekobako ni shimau beki na no da. In short, the tale must be put inside a cat box at the appropriate time. ネコ箱をめぐっての長き物語なのだからその終焉も最後までを記さずネコ箱にしまってしまうのが良いのではあるまいか Featherine has spoken to no one inside the empty study. Of course, no one commented on her words. However, Featherine seemed to hear something. She nodded and grinned contentedly. Yes, I know. I will write a bit further, then lay down my pen. Then it will be time for us to say our goodbyes. Featherine held up a finger and spun it around, a signal that she wanted to darken the room. The lights in the study dimmed. Would you mind letting me rest for a while? During that time, my cat, or rather my Nico, will entertain you. Oh, Lambda. Oh, God. I gotta put myself aside for a second to do Lambda here. Oh, boy. It'll get better if you spin on it. Yeah! Uh, don't just stop licking me all of a sudden! 
<laughs> What's the matter, Lambda? I thought that would be something you liked. Huh. I think this needle should be thick enough. This'll hurt like hell. So you'd better close your eyes. Five, four, three, two. Ah, don't say that right before you start! Yamate, man! Yamate! Yeah! But despite all this, the two of them truly were close. I think that was. Yeah, they definitely. Though Lambda Delta had been brutally dismembered in the final fight, she had survived. But unfortunately, she was still dismembered. So Burncastle was sewing her arms and head back on with a needle and thread. The left arm, which was still waiting to be re reattached, walked around, oh my god, on the bed impatiently with its in index and middle fingers. Only the arms were left to do, so it looked like this would be better soon. Then Erica returned, slamming the door open. It's Erica's toy. Erica? Erica, did you bring your chopsticks? Yes, my master! Great detectives have their magnifying glasses! For Rudo, Erica has our chopsticks! Are you ready? Pour that out that sesame salt and use those chopsticks to separate the sesame seeds from the salt. Oh my god! Yes, my master! Please watch my fantastic chopstick wielding skills! Oh my god, Erica! Yeah, good luck with that. When you're done, make sure you put everything back into the bag. Oh, you stop bullying her like that. Oh. How rude. I'm playing with her. So, so, Erica. Ah, yes, Erica. The mailman just came by with a, a letter addressed to you. A letter? I said the crime going to me! Don't tell me! I guess who sent it! The postmark is from heaven. It's probably from Dolanor or someone. Oh, did, did they make up? I'm surprised you're still in touch. Just by the presence of this postmark. <laughs> See how far Burn Castle's reasoning has taken her. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hey! You can't do that, my master! My catchphrase is all I love! Man died night! It's forbidden to have multiple detectives! Then you'd better get out. 
Mere tante, Erika. So long, great detective Erika. You two like each other or hate each other? Ah oh boy. I'm just seeing a floating head over here. Angry, slightly. Of course we hate each other. <laughs> you are the only one I love. Ah, oh, Bernie Burns. Come here. I know I'll always be less of a bean than you. your mom in every single inch of that area. When you have eternity, you get around. Especially in your room, you know that? Every single inch. You know that smell that you thought was nice? Yeah. Have fun with that. I fucked your mom everywhere in that library. Ha. Huh. Just live with that knowledge. Are you serious? Are you challenging the great Lambda Delta? Erica grinned and grabbed Lambda Delta's left arm, which had been walking around the bed. I hear up Lady Lambda Delta's arm! I knew the slice of an end of her arm! Erica grinned and wiggled her fingers menacingly. Wait, wait, you aren't thinking. Let's see if my rival can handle this. <laughs> she tickled the inside of Lambda Delta's left arm. Apparently, she was extremely ticklish there. Incidentally, the open end of Lambda Delta's arm had cute, fluffy white cotton candy poking out. Apparently, her body was made out of sweet candy, with a bit of spice thrown in. Put your mind at ease, as there is nothing remotely terrifying about this scene. <laughs> Erica ran around screaming, I've defeated Lady Lambda Delta all by myself, just like my master, Erica Ferrero, the greatest warrior who has ever lived. Lambda Delta growled and hissed at her. Burncastle kept on sewing, an exasperated look on her face. It was a very peaceful scene. So? What does the letter say? Anything about what Dolanor and the others have been up to? Come on, this is the epilogue. We've got to have a whole where are they now section. Gertrude Sod has been promoted to a full inquisitor or something. Mm. Well, good for her, yay! What animal is that? That's gotta be from something. Oh, in addition to her cat, she's got a meow of two! What's a meow of? Exactly. Uh, what? You don't know? You're still out of touch! 
They've been all the rage lately. Even I got a female the Yawa a few days back. You can make awesome compaito with them too. <laughs> I'm totally lost, but I'll make sure I stay far away from your homemade food in the future. Cornelia did an inquisitive exam. She found that she's really good at fighting, so she started combat training. Pretty hard to imagine doing that, right? <laughs> wow, there's all kinds of combat training. What she's doing? What she doing? Kickboxing in Chinese Kempo. Looks like kickboxing and Chinese Kempo. Could that be Eva's influence? I'll bet she'd fight pretty good standing on one leg. That's <laughs> Good point. After all, she's been trained pretty well by a certain someone already. It also mentions real son. Oh, that's a surprise. Wilson, FX the Hitama at the Tarasquete, so that if you don't say, Ima was who does and she knew the real detective. Oh my god, that's hilarious! Will, you better pull out before the economy crashes. Seriously, Will, you better pull out before the Japanese economy just tanks. Looks like Wilson made a bid on the foreign exchange market. He's now living a life of leisure on the income from his real estate investments. No! Yes! 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 The ship lives! Woo! Sounds like he started playing Vodden lately, too! I'll bet he has a hellish coach. Oh, his butt's probably swollen by now. Oh my god! Ryukashi you just freaking subtly confirming the fucking ship right there. Holy shit. Damn, that's awesome. So, what about Dolinor? As usual, she's stamping things, stamping things, sealing things, approving things, and sometimes even signing things. <笑>自分が自己的に出動するから自分の感覚でぜひ事件を起こしてほしいです。って書いてあります。ありがとう、ソリー。ああ、マイガード。あ、いや、オブビアスリー、いや、ユクハブ、ユクハブインタープレテだ
まあそのうち What? One of these days. 気が向いたらいじめに行ってあげてもいいかもです If I feel like it, I might drop by the bullier. Ah, and Siesta Shimai Hei Tachi no Koto mo kaite arimasu. Oh, good, the Chiastras are good too. That's awesome. Oh, and there's something also here about the Chiastra Sisters' core. Wait. I don't want to hear it all at once. You gotta pause a bit for dramatic effect. Okay, that'll do it. <laughs> I finally grew my right arm back! Do the left one now, please! Let's have some tea first. Erika, Kocha no Kanto, Umeboshi no Tsubo, Yoish de Choda. Erika, bring in a can of black tea and the pot of dried plums. Hi, Waga Arichi! Yes, my master! With this particular journey over and done with, the Voyager witches rested their wings. It was also that they could leave on a new journey and start to the next fragment. A short break between trips, backdrop by the pleasant scent of black tea. Ha ha ha, where are you going this time? <laughs> if you go north, I'm heading south. <laughs> But if you go east, I'm heading west. I hope we can find another charming tale like this one. Next time, I hope you aren't playing the villain again, Burn. You do? Being the bad guy was pretty fun. Jeez, now they're just talking about everything like it was just a freaking game to all of them, which I guess it was, kind of. You almost died, Vern. Jeez. I guess that's exciting to her. I wonder what kind of tale we'll find next. And what kind of tale we'll next meet in? To a pair of lovers, the Sea of Fragments is tiny. Children of Paradise. That, that sounds like a Sikonia reference. I, I, I knew it couldn't be, but... The Sea of Fragments is pretty huge. <laughs> For coastal! I see you're you're a fan of uh, anime. Let's see. Ghost in the Shell. Oh, we'll meet again. When Sundance cries! That sounds like a catchphrase. Oh yeah! Next time it's gonna be those goddamn storks! We're gonna fly around in their jetpacks going shh! In a big, big, futuristic sapphire! Woo! <laughs> Sounds good. Let's do that. We'll meet again when something else comes. <laughs> the happy voices of the witches faded to the distance. Sayonara. There we go. That was a little bit of a nice pick me up.
Now it's time for the final section. That that was a nice pick me up. I'm glad that all the um so all the people from heaven and hell and everything are just chilling and nice. Now all that remains is uh, to see what happened to everyone in the cat box. Let's end it. This is insane, really. Let's see what's gonna happen here. The final section of Umineko. Decades later. Ooh. It was the largest banquet hall in this huge hotel. The many guests that filled the room chattered and applauded the person receiving an award trophy on top of the stage. The sign in front said, Award Ceremony from Japan's Greatest Publishers. And now I would like to begin the novel category. The winner is that fantasy adventure novel we all know so well. The story that started a worldwide movement. That continues to grow in leaps and bounds. Oh my god! Sakutaro's Great Adventure! Oh my god, the projector in front of the audience showed a brief, brief summary of the series. It was a lengthy fantasy adventure novel that was already more than eight installments along. <laughs> the thrilling fantasy story told of the adventure of Sakutado, a cowardly Vegeta lion who makes friends, learns through his experiences, and I guess meets a Goku lion, and grows in his search for the one fragment. Damn! Angie, throwing your own experiences in there, I see. <laughs> the main character's catchphrase, I'll become the king of beasts, was even one of the candidates for Buzzwords of the Year award. In addition to being a thrill to read, the books also contain many messages for children to learn from. Earning its high praise as an adventure novel that parents and kids could enjoy reading together. More than eight parts. Just... However, it hadn't received such praise from the beginning. For the first six volumes, it was almost entirely unnoticed. But last year, when foreign translations of the series began, it got its big break and suddenly became a huge topic of conversation. <laughs> Even before the series, the author had created quite a lot of works. <laughs> but none of those achieved any public acclaim. <laughs> However, after this sudden rise in notoriety, her previous work was being reevaluated one after another. <laughs> in that sense, it's probably fair to call her an author who went unrecognized for quite a long time. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Miss Kotobuki. <laughs> Congratulations on your reward. Award, I should say. Your latest Sakutaro goes to the Witch's Island was a truly excellent read. Oh, wow. Angie. She's memorializing her crazy adventures. Oh, my God. Publishing company executives repeatedly showered her with praise. Sakutada's Great Adventure. The author's name was Kotobuki Yukari. Yukari, eh? That's a pretty cool name, I'd say. 
Nearly all of her royalties were said to have fund to support needy children. And she herself has served as the director at several protective institutions. <laughs> Some envious people tried to call this fake charity, but the more that people learned about her, the more those voices withered and died away. Kadabuki Yukari. Find out that late name rang loud and clear across Japan. She sat in a chair, cheerfully chatting with the people who came to greet her. Oh no! Last year she was diagnosed with the initial stages of cancer, and after the surgery, her physical strength, dro strength dropped sharply. Because of this, even in the stand-up awards party, she was given a chair and sat down while greeting people. Some people lamented, saying that only, if only she had been 20, even 10 years younger. She might have left her march in history as one of the great authors in the 21st century. It had taken so long for her to receive the praise she deserved. She could no longer be called young. Even so, her determination to write had not wavered in the slightest. The story had gone around that even during her stay in the hospital, most of her time had been spent typing away. She always said the same thing. That she hadn't finished telling everyone she needed everything she needed to tell. Did she mean that she hadn't fully completed Sakutada's great adventure? When that question was asked by a journalist, this is how she answered. If by writing even one more book, I can teach just one more child how to find happiness, then I will spend the rest of my life writing every book every page that I can because I still haven't fully conveyed the precious teachings I was given. Oh, Angie! Miss <laughs> Kurabuki, congratulations on your award! I hear the movie adaptation has been, been getting splendid reviews as well. <laughs> If you keep this up, you might even pass up Harry the Potato Track. Oh my god! Thank you very much for your kind words. It's more than I deserve. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Damn, I guess it's kind of phoning in the names here. With the end, with uh, the freaking end of, um... <laughs> My name is X, head of company X's first editorial department. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. <laughs> I hope we have a chance to work together sometime. Actually, <laughs> Actually, Miss Kurabuki. Sono Tototsna Hanashinano de Singa. I apologize for being abrupt. Swedish Shosetskano Hachijo Toya Sensei O Gozonji de Shoka. Oh, yes, she has. 
I mean, have you heard of the novelist known as Hachijo Toya? Hachijo Toya, Hachijo Toya, you say? She remembered that name from several decades ago. She hadn't expected to ever hear it again. Do you know that name? Have you met Hachijo by any chance? That's true. In this timeline, she didn't. No, I have not. I did go to visit once, but I was an unknown back then. Yep. Interesting. So she was refused to see her in this world. I see. So in this iteration, she didn't get to see Angie. Okay. Or Angie didn't get to see her, rather. Makes sense, because Angie didn't go on that whole journey. And since I suddenly barged into the publishing company office, it's hardly surprising that I was refused an interview. Oh, yeah. that was oh I didn't know that. Could it be that you're a fan of Hachijo's work? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, definitely she would say no. Cheers. I just want to find out what sort of person she was. I see, I see. Well, the truth is about that novelist. Hachijo Toya would like to meet with you discreetly. To meet with me? Yes. Not as a formal interview, but personally, off the record. If you're interested, we would be happy to arrange the meeting. But of course, this has nothing to do with work. Hachijo Toya wants to meet Kurabuki Yukari. Just like how I realized that Ito Yukuro was Hachijo Toya. Did she use my name to figure out my identity? The Rokunjima mystery has been called one of the great social phenomena at the turn of the century. That uproar, which dragged in enthusiasts from around the world, suddenly subsided after an event held by Hachijo Toya, where she was going to unveil the diary of Ushimiya Eva, which contained the truth. Though she had set up the event herself, she then outrageously disappeared without releasing the contents of the diary, drawing harsh criticism for doing so. However, a very, very obvious feeling had been revived in the public sphere. That they'd been prying into a terrible accident with many victims, purely out of curiosity. And so the frenzy surrounding the Rokunjima mystery had faded away quietly. Achijo Toya. No, Ito Ikukuro. She caught the public, public eye as a forger of Rokunjima mysteries. She claimed to have reached the truth and released groundbreaking works of fiction one after another. She became famous as the driving force behind the Rokunjima mystery. After realizing that Ito Ikukuro was the Chijo Toya, I went to her publishing company to ask for an interview, but I didn't get one. At the time, I despised her. Back in the beginning, I thought she might have used the Rokujima mystery as a publicity stunt to advance herself. But now I feel a bit grateful to her. If she hadn't refused to show the diary in such an outrageous way, then the Rokujima cat box might still be the plaything of countless goats. She was indeed a forger who had toyed with the cat box, and I still had an uneasy feeling about her. However, at the same time, she was the one who, practically speaking, allowed Rokunjima to rest in peace. 
And did she really reach the truth? How would she reach something that seemed infinitely close to the truth, even from my perspective? Even now, after all these years, that's something I've wanted to know. What do you think, Miss Kotobuki? Of course, this is not an urgent request. I was told to tell you to take your time in making your decision if you wished. I understand. Does Hishijo Toya live near the city? I was told a meeting near here would be satisfactory at any time. I see. In that case, could I ask you to arrange a meeting for us in a quiet coffee shop next Sunday? Hi, Wakarimasta. Yes, as you wish. Thank you, thank you very much. I believe Pachijo will be delighted as well. I have one condition. Hi, Nanarito. Yes, whatever you say. I am not going to discuss business, so please refrain from sending anyone for the editing department. But of course, we'll do as you say. Madam Machijo and I will meet alone, just the two of us. Can I count on you to keep that promise? Ah, uh, Well, as to that. Sono, We would um, appreciate if you kept this quiet, but. What is it? Well, the truth is. Tatsujo uh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it! I knew it! The works of Ichijo Toyo were written by two people. I fucking knew it. Well, I don't know. It has to be. It has to be. I'm sorry, I don't have that much energy right now. The the end the ending just still I just To the outside world these books were written by a single female author. But there is actually a second author, a male one! The pair of them asked for a chance to meet you. As soon as I heard that, I felt a premonition. How had a Chijo Toya, a person with no connection to the Shimia family, managed to write about it in such detail? I was already feeling a premonition of a certain kind of miracle. When I left on my journey, I abandoned the nation name of Ushermia Angie and stepped into a new life. By now, things have settled down, but when the Sumadera family was still a threat, I wanted to distance myself from that name. Thanks to that, no one was able to get in touch with the new me anymore. However, now that Sakutaro's adventure has caught the public eye this year and made the name of Kotobuki Yukari famous, Maybe it finally reached his ears. Oh my god! I used to play with a lion stuffed animal called Sakutaro, along with Maria Onechan. If those who knew this connected the name Sakutaro with my name, then it's only natural that they figured out who I was. The number of people who would be able to recognize me from that was very, very small. This person was always also well, 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 well versed in detective novels, and a man. I could only think of one person who matched. Yep, 
After all, I knew just how many detective novels he had piled up in his room from the time when, it, when his effects were gone through. It was almost the time we had arranged for our meeting. My heart was racing almost like a girl in love for the first time. At the very instant that arranged time came, I could hear the sound of the chime on the door. And they appeared. Oh my god! He looks just like Kinzo! Oh my god. Oh my god. He looks exactly like the younger Kinzo! Holy fuck. Oh my god! I knew it! I fucking knew it. That had to be Battler. There was a man sitting on a wheelchair and a woman pushing him. My eyes immediately fix on the man in the wheelchair. This is in the- this is in the opening, really. Gabi Forrest. This is in the opening. But how did he survive? And right away I saw the traces that remained on his face. There's no doubt about it. He's my brother. My brother, Ushermia Battler. When her eyes met, he gave a little bow. Oh my god, look at that sprite. The red truth got fucked. But, I have a feeling. I think I know what happened. I think I know. This guy in the in the previous episode in the previous episode he didn't have any memory. I think Battler may have pulled a Beatrice of his own. When her eyes met, he gave a little bow. I hurried to my feet and bowed back. It was somewhat exaggerated in a silly way for a pair of siblings to greet each other after several decades apart. However, my mind was already blank. The miracle I had waited for all this time was now reality. Kotobuki Yukari Sensei de Irashai Maska? Ah, you, Miss Kotobuki Yukari. Kotobuki Yukari de Gozaimas. Yes, I am. Sensei Gatanga, Achijo Toya Sensei de Irashai Maska. And you two must be Ichijo Toya. Hajimemashite, Sensei. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for letting us borrow your precious time today. My name is Ichijo Ikuko. I am mostly in charge of the actual writing. This is Toya. He mostly handles the drafting. Though the woman who called herself Ikuko was far older than me, she seemed to be unbelievably youthful. I wonder how that could be. It wasn't because she was good with makeup or dressed like a younger woman. It feels strange to say it. There was a strange mystique about her, as though she was immortal and never aging. Yep, think about this. This has got to be in like the late 2010s. 
and she look exa she looks exactly the same as she did in 1986. Huh. 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 I wonder. Like, you can't explain that. Then I quickly remembered that she had introduced my brother as Toya. Pardon me for asking, but are you two married? We are not married, but we have been together for a bit, for a long time. So this ne True, looking back on it really has been a long time. My brother smiled as he spoke when I learned that at least for him these long decades hadn't been a period of isolation and loneliness. I felt this incredible sense of peace and relief. Before I knew it, he was staring back into my face. Well, I was just six years old the last time we met. Must be hard for him to find any traces he can recognize. However, I'm sure he'll recognize something just the same. We kept stealing glances at each other and looking away like a couple on a blind date. Don't say it like that, Angie! We were both at an age where outside appearances mattered to us. Even though we both knew we wouldn't let our polite exterior falter. This humorous exchange was extremely embarrassing. I thought it would be a faded reunion, that it would hold each other and solve tears of gratitude together. However, reality seemed to be different. But that's fine. It feels like my heart will explode with happiness. Let's take our orders. Is coffee okay? What does everyone want? I'll, I'd like some coffee. I'd prefer something that isn't so bitter. How about you, Miss Kotobuki? Oh, I don't mind. I guess I'll have cafe au lait. How stiff we're all being. Even my brother seemed to be finding it amusing by now. Sate. Well now. When she said that, my brother and I fell silent and sat up straight. Watashikara? Should I start? Sore tomo, Toya kara hanashimasu Or will we start with you, Toya? I'll go first. I'm the one who pushed so hard for this meeting, after all. As he spoke, he watched me calmly. I came here. I came here today, thinking that you might be a certain person. Her name is Ushiromiya Angie. When I read your, read your works and heard your name, I thought that you were her. That's right. How long it's been since I last used that name. My true name is Ushiromiya Angie. 
I gave the exaggerated bow that I've gotten so used to these long years. We've both aged, haven't we, Oni Chang? Oh my god. I whispered this in my heart. <sniffs> now it was my turn. With a quick apology, I fished around in my handbag and took out a photo. Oh my god. It was a picture from a trip I'd taken to an amusement park with Battler Oni Chang. I had many other pictures of us having a good time, but this one had the best shot of his face. I looked between him and the photo. There was no longer any room for doubt. Toya Sensei. Mr. Toya? Your true name is Ushirumiya Battler, son, isn't it? The hands of the clock inside me stopped. I wanted him to answer with a yes. Even though I was already so sure, I was still about to burst with the tension. And then, when the incident that seemed far too long ended, my brother answered. So this. That's right. Oh my god. <gasps> Unconsciously, I stared at my brother's face. With unbelievable quickness, he acknowledged that he was Ushirmiya Battler. My eyes immediately filled and overflowed with tears. I took out a handkerchief and wiped them away, but I couldn't hold them back. <sighs> Onichan was alive after all. So why didn't he come back to me right away? If, there had been, if, that, if he had been there during my darkest days, it would have meant so much to me. Normally, the thought would have made me curse my brother, but by now, even that emotion was softened. After all, now that I faced, was faced with the miracle of being reunited with Onichan, everything I'd felt before fell away with my tears. At that moment, I was happy. At this moment, I was happy. I was never alone. I worked so hard for decades with that belief in my heart, and now I've finally been rewarded. By now, I couldn't even stop my tears. For some time, I continued to sob and sniffle. Watching this, my brother hung his head apologetically. Why didn't he come back to me sooner? I looked as though he was feeling regret for that. But I'm sure he had some sort of reason. He's probably here today to tell me about it and apologize. Already, just by him introducing himself to me, Everything inside of me had been washed clean with tears. I'm sorry. I must be embarrassing you. No. It's only to be expected. For several, for several decades, you've been waiting all alone, be believing that your family would return. I did believe. I believe that you would come home. Onichan. I held out my hand weakly, and my brother slowly held his out too. Then I gripped his hand. Regardless of how many long years had passed, it was without a doubt my brother's hand. Once more, I had to struggle to hold back the tears. Nubaoba <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Diva exploded, avoided the explosion of the accident by escaping to Kuridorian. How did you escape the accident, Onichan? On that day, I escaped through the underground passage. The one that goes to Kuridorian? 
隠し屋敷に続く地下道だと教えられました I was told that an underground passage led to a hidden mansion on the opposite side of the island. しかし、私たちはクアドリアの、oh、my God. 潜水艦基地の方へ逃れたのです。However, however, the place we escaped to was a submarine base, not k u a d o r i a n I don't know why my brother entered the underground passage on that day. Beatrice, he's not mentioning her. At any rate, he went into the underground passage and unlike Aunt Eva. Oh, sorry, I knocked the microphone. He escaped a submarine base. There he escaped the explosion and survived. So, I was in the motorboat. After that, I got away on, the, on a motorboat. That's why, so no touch you there. おそらく転覆してしまったのでしょう。Oh God, Butler, you want to keep Beatrice? Oh God, I see. You want to keep her a secret, don't you? However, it must have capsized somewhere along the way. おそらくと。He's saying we. She's not noticing it. It must have. Please forgive him. Toya suffers from memory loss. His memory from around the time he was drowning in the ocean is hazy. That's what, that, that's what that chapter seemed to indicate. Could it be that he forgot he was a Shumia Battler for a while? That is correct. Yes, that explains nearly all of the riddles. My brother escaped from the explosion, but he either is most capsized during his escape from the island or he fell overboard. Afterwards, he must have drifted somewhere. Wondered about half conscious and probably got into a traffic accident. On that day, he was lying on the road. If she had found me even a little later, I probably wouldn't have opened my eyes again. I believe you suspected that I was the one who hit you for quite some time. Yeah, I was a Hey, I've already apologized for that. This explains pretty much everything. Either because of the time he nearly drowned, or because of the traffic accident, my brother's memory was damaged. This is all the loose ends in the story, yep. His memory probably came back eventually. However, by that time, I'd already set foot into my new life as Kotobuki Yukari. Only a handful of people, including President Okonogi, knew where I was. Even if my brother wanted to contact me, there was a very good chance that he wouldn't be able to do so. Ironically, the name I abandoned when I decided to live in the future delayed my reunion with my brother for so long. In that sense, I am responsible. I did it to myself. However, I'm sure I received the message my brother sent me. That message was Ito Ikokuro. I realized that Ito Ikokuro, the forger who can't win to have reached the truth, was actually a Chijo Toya. Then I requested a meeting with her through the publishing company to question her about why she was so sure she'd reached the truth. However, I wasn't granted a meeting.
In the end, I heard nothing from them, and it's taken all these decades for me to meet, meet Hachijo Toya. Wait, totally, I don't understand. How does that explain the memory maintenance device on Feathering's head? Wait, how does that explain it on Feathering's head? I don't understand. In the end, I heard nothing from them. And it's taken all these days, decades for me to meet Tejijo Toya. If the publishing company had only passed my message on, we could have been reunited so much sooner. However, at that time, I was just a bourgeois girl who liked to throw money around. Why would they pass on my message who... When I just barged in with no introduction and demanded to meet demanded to meet the famous and popular Chijo Toya. We probably crossed paths several times. If just one of those had worked out, if we had been able to meet. Just how much would my life has changed? But this was fate. God had decided that a few decades were needed before the sibling reunion. And during that time, my brother became one half of a mystery novelist. I became a writer of adventure novels for children. Fantasy and mystery together. You could say that we achieved success in society. My brother and I were reunited after becoming successful. I see totally. So in that interpretation, you could say feathering is a combination of Ikuko and Toya, I see. Now I could do nothing but thank God for bringing about this miracle. Maybe it was God's will that we'd be reunited after achieving success as novelists. Back then, I was nameless, so I never got through to you. We've met now because we're both famous, as become, both become famous as offers. I think all of this was God's will. At the time, we heard the publishing company that you wanted to have an interview with us. They said that a fan who discovered Ikukuro's true identity wanted to talk to her. It's okay, Ji-chan. You can sleep if you want to. Seriously, good night. Good night, Ji-chan. He must have had dozens of fans dying for an interview. You couldn't possibly go meet all of them. No. They let us know your name was Ushiromiya Anji. At the time, I had already realized that Toya's true name was Ushirmiya Battler, so I thought you should be given a chance to meet him. I refused. Why? My brother said that to me. What did you say? I refused because I didn't want to meet you. 
Once more, my brother spoke clearly. I was completely confused. I could only sit there in shock and silence, waiting for the words that were sure to follow. I believe I already mentioned that Toya suffered from memory loss. And then one day... Why, why did you refuse when you knew it was me? I cut through Ikuko's words and questioned him directly. What reason could my brother have for rejecting me? I couldn't think of anything. That unpleasant emotion brought up long forgotten feelings of anger inside me. You must have known that your little sister was living all alone, being crushed by loneliness. So why? Why did you refuse to meet me? My brother hung his head. It seemed more like he was lost for words than apologetic. There was nothing shy about his appearance, and I questioned him again in an even louder voice. When I asked for an appointment with the Chijo Toya, Ikukuro was already famous as a forger. Why did Ikukuro's forgeries reach the truth? It's obvious. My brother Jimmy Battler explained to her what happened on the island in detail. So the appearance of Ituka Ikukuro proves that my brother's memory had returned. Therefore, he can't excuse himself by saying that he didn't remember me. In fact, in reality, he didn't try to make excuses. On the contrary, he openly said that he refused to meet me, even though he knew who I was. <laughs> Looking back, I regret what I did. You regret it? Did you ever try thinking about how I felt? For decades. For most of my life! Do you realize what feelings I had to live with? Various emotions swirled inside of me. I realized that I wasn't in control of them anymore. I could only moan to prevent myself from saying something I'd regret. I feel, I feel deeply ashamed for doing something so cruel to you. That's why I've searched for you ever since then. For your sake and for mine, I should have met you much earlier. Then why? Why wouldn't you meet me then? Miss Kotobuki. As I said before, his memory was damaged. No, perhaps I should say his brain was damaged. It's an after effect of the accident. But his memory came back just the same, didn't it? Yes, his memory came back. However, that did not remove the after effects of the damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's why Battler can be in the meta world. Oh, my God. Oh 
my god. Oh my god. ですが、それが自分のことと思えない。受け入れられないのです。However, because of the damage to my brain, I can't think of those as my own. Can't think of those as your own. Yes. Tashkani, what does she have? She might have just a zengo no kotoba. You might have been Kyoka Ayafia. It's true that my memory of my escape from the island is still hazy. She got she. それ以外のことはほとんど思い出しました。ランチ、I have to say, like, I don't think it was ever called the Meta World, but that's what everybody called it. That's what everybody in the freaking Discord called it, so I just ran with it. And also, apparently, it's called that in the fighting game, so, like, I just ran with it. I should say the afterlife. However, I've remembered almost everything else. 例えばあなたが大事にしていたピンクの髪飾りは私が遊園地のゲームコーナーで撮ってあげたものだとか。That's true, Devon. He did. Oh my god. Battler wouldn't. Battler refused to let Beato. He refused to let her die on her own. Oh my god. Even though his body survived and part of his brain did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like how those pink harem ornaments of yours that treasure so you treasure so much were something I won for you at the game corner in the amusement park. Yeah, that's right. Exactly, Ruka. They're a treasure from when I was a child. I still keep them with me in my handbag. I remember a lot more besides that. Anata ga hijiki ga kirai de, o ka san o komarasete ita koto ya. Oh my god. I remember you giving mom trouble because you hated eating seaweed. Sore o, watashi no osara ni utsushite, go makasou to shita koto ya. I remember that you tried to move it to my plate and trick her. O ka ni mo. And when? If you remember that much, then why can't you think of those memories as your own? それが私の後遺症なのです。That's the result of the damage to my brain. いくつもの病院を巡りましたが。どうにもなりませんでした。I've been to several hospitals, but it didn't do any good. あなたにはわからないでしょう。I, I, yep, that totally makes sense. You probably can't understand it. Yep, it makes sense that the hospital wouldn't be able to do anything in this. ある日、突然。知らない男の記憶が頭いっぱいに溢れ出すのがどれほど辛いことか。Yeah, exactly, Guppy Force. The Meta World is more than just Purgatorio. It's also Heaven, the, the library, and, and like all the different universes and shit. That's what I'm, I'm talking about everything not Earth, basically, when I say the Meta World. You can't know how painful it is to have your mind suddenly fill, filled with the memories of a man you don't know. He was terrified that he wasn't himself anymore. His mind was filled with the memories of a man he didn't recognize, and they threatened to crush and overwhelm him. They must have been his own lost memories, 
However, his brain couldn't accept those as his own. Exactly, Burncaster. Yeah. Those days were painful, terrifying. It felt like my mind was being invaded. Tonight, when I turn off the lights and go to sleep, maybe I will never wake up again. Maybe a different man will wake up tomorrow morning and start living life in my body. So much I can't count the nights that this terror tormented me. Several times, he tried to convince himself that they were his real memories. This is really interesting. He told himself that he was Ushurumi a battler over and over again. But nothing worked. Yep. Well, I think that's amazing that you can, like, you can speak so fluently in, in two languages, Ramsh. I think that's really badass. Chijo Toya, of course, because because yeah, that because Battler is separate. Battler is separate from Chijo Toya. Atama no naka ni dore hodo ushiromi ya Battler no kiyoku ga afure yo tomo. No matter how much Ushiromi ya Battler's flow in memories flow into my mind. To me, they're the memories of another person. I couldn't accept Ushirumi a battler. As quote unquote Ushirumi a battler said this, he hung his head and his eyes turned red. Then, when one day he was caught between himself and the other self, he couldn't accept he had a fit. Fortunately, his life was spared, but in the but the after effects forced him to spend the rest his life in a wheelchair. He just he tried to kill himself. You mean he? Oh my God. Now I know why you showed up in that wheelchair. And now I know why you refused to meet with me. He was afraid that I would call him Big Brother. He was terrified of meeting me, fearful that that part of himself that wasn't him would grow still further in his mind. Even so, he fought. That's what exactly what I thought, Burncaster. He felt that since Ushurumiya Battler was inside him, 
it was his responsibility to meet you. So moi, kare wa nando mo futari no jibun no haza made tatakatta no desu. Thinking that, he kept on fighting in the space between his two selves. And then he had a fit. After something like that, it was only natural that Ikuko would tell him that he didn't need to remember Ushimiya Battler anymore. <gasps> oh my god, I just realized! Did Battler not have his memory in the meta world because Toya had them? After something like that, it was only natural that Ikuko would tell him that he didn't need to remember who should be a Battler anymore. Bit by bit, he tried to forget that he was once who should be a Battler. Doctor's instructions and medication. Without that Nikuko's diligent care, he slowly began to regain his peace of mind. So did them. Even so, I thought I would have to meet you sooner or later. To be honest, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I was scared of meeting you. Oh god, Toya. If I met you, would I die? Yes, I was afraid. However, here I am, talking to you normally. That's why I regret what I did. If only, if only I could have met with you earlier. You. Oh God. And sure me a battler inside of me might not have had to suffer all those years. God. <laughs> Just thinking that makes me feel so sorry. As the one who was once assured me a battler said this, he broke down crying. I already understood. So it really was true. Usher me a battler did die that day. After all, didn't the witches say that he was dead so often with the red truth? How pathetic for the witch of resurrection, the witch of the future, who swore that everyone would be together always. Please raise your head. <laughs> Miss Kotobuki. They realized why I call him Toya-san. By calling him by that name, 
I myself felt the, the agitation in my heart subside a little. Thank you. You must have suffered so much. Thank you, Mr. Toya. Oh, God, Angie. yourself so hard to come here again today not again but today <sighs> holding hands we put our foreheads close and cried together for a while then we talked of the old days you remembered many things vividly even things that I couldn't remember myself each time they made me cry even harder and he hung his head apologetically I realized how much this hurt him so I kept nodding in encouragement with a strange look on my face. Something between a sob and a smile. <sighs> Even if he isn't sure me a battler. My Oni-chan came back to me. Welcome home, Oni-chan. Oh my god. It had already gotten dark outside. Even though he had come from very far away, he was willing to stay as late as this. We left the store. It's probably best if I don't meet with Mr. Toya again. Oh my god. It will cause him pain. And of course, I'll find myself bound to the past again. Even so, just one more time. There was one place I felt I had to show him. Toya Sensei. <sighs> Mr. Toya? Would you mind meeting with me just one last time? There's a place I need feel I need to show you. <sighs> Is it Rokunjima? Yes. I don't think it would be. Is it their old house or something? Sure, I don't mind. From my handbag, I pulled an invitation written out up on a folded piece of A4 paper. The prayer of them had it spread out. Oh, yeah. My, my. Now, this looks like a splendid event. Come to think of it, you've been involved in a lot of things beside novels, haven't you? Would you let your time just once more on that day? That way, I think both me and my brother will be satisfied. I think it might be a chance for you to free yourself from the weight of my brother's memory, Mr. Toya. Uh, I don't believe we have any plans for them. As long as we can finish the afterwords of the book. Okay, Miss Kotobuki. We'd be happy to join you. Thank you, Mr. Toya.
The cold October night was a reminder that winter was approaching. The two people who called themselves the Chijo Choya visited the city once again by Angie's invitation. A car stopped in front of a larger building. Ikuko unfolded the wheelchair with a practiced hand, lent a shoulder to Toya as he got out of the passenger seat, and helped him into the car into the chair. <laughs> it looks splendid. Fukui House is the first time we've ever seen it. Oh my god. Fukui House. It's my first time coming here, but I know it well. I believe it's the institution for children that was funded by the Ushirmiya family. Madam Ikuko, Mr. Toya. Allow us to welcome you to the Fukuin house. They were welcomed by Angie and some staff members. This was the Fukuin house, a welfare institution for unfortunate children who had lost their parents. In the past, this institution had been established thanks to Shumia Kinzo's support. However, that support had been interrupted, and the Fukuin house had been forced to shut down for a time. Decades passed, and now the institution will be revived. Revived by the hands of Kotobuki Yukari. Kotobuki Sensei. It's a pleasure to see you again, Miss Kotobuki. Thank you for inviting us. The two of us want you to have this. It's not much, but I hope the children enjoy it. That's not the reason I invited you here. My apologies. Don't worry about that. The tales of the future are always woven by children. After all, without them, the tale of humans will not continue. Children are treasures. Yep. Absolutely. So please let this be useful. Is it? What is it? Thank you very much. We have a form for donations, so if it isn't too much trouble. I see. It was, yeah, as a donation, that makes sense. The Fukuin house had been drastically remodeled in recent years. In the hopes that children would one day be able to remember this as a fun place, Angie used her own money to massively remodel it into a beautiful establishment. By now, she had accumulated a lot of wealth as a novelist. But even without that, she had been saving the tens of millions of yen she got from the Ushimiya group each year under the name of living expenses. This money had been used generously to help the children. When they came to an entrance hall, the entrance hall, a cheerful scene was spread before them. It's decorated like the Halloween party. There were pictures and crafts created by the children. Every corner was filled with things on display. The contrast between this elegant building and the school atmosphere was amusing. The yells and laughter of kids running around drifted into the distance. I imagine that many of the children come in here hanging their heads in sorrow. To think that they could laugh like that. You really have done something great. Anyone can use magic to create a future and find their fragment of happiness. 
そういう魔法を教える魔女の学校なんです。Oh, Angie. This is a witch's school for teaching that magic. サクタロウの大冒険に出てきた魔女の寄宿舎のことですね。The witch's dormitory from Sakutaro's great adventure. あら、恥ずかしい。Oh, how embarrassing. どうや先生もお読みになられていたのですか So you read it too. 先日のご縁以来、早々にどこはしました We read straight through it all, right after our last meeting. ことぶき先生の文才のみならず、その温かなお心には、本当に頭が下がります。I really must bow my head, not only to your talent as a writer, but to your warm heart. お恥ずかしい。How embarrassing. どうぞ、そこの突き当たりです。This way straight to the end. Pushing Toy's wheelchair, we advance to the corridor and reach the great doors at the end. The happy voices of children came from the other side. Apparently, this was where tonight's party was being held. There were several jack o' lanterns that got out of origami. Tonight was the Fukui House's Halloween party. Here you are, Mr. Toya. I see, so it's trick or treat. He was handed a bag filled with candy. A teacher warned him in a small voice to watch out for rampaging children. <laughs> children. <laughs> Haven't had anything to do with them for years. Please tell the children stories of dreams. お客様を歓迎しますよ。All of us welcome guests here. これは困った。That's tricky. 何を語ってあげればいいやら。What should I tell them? 原稿の持ち込みはよく出版社を選びましょう。<笑> When you're handing in your manuscript, choose your publishing company wisely. 読者アンケートなんて気にしない。Don't pay any attention to reader polls. Then I'll open the doors. The children are waiting. Angie opened the large double doors. Coco. God, Angie, you recreated the decorations in episode eight. Oh my god, Angie! Oh my god, Angie! Oh my god, Angie! Oh my god, Angie! This is. At the side of the hall, Toy opened his mouth in wide eyed shock. This was the great hall, there should be a mansion. No, that's impossible. Oh my god! She has the other Beatrice painting! Oh my god! This is definitely the Fukui house. But his hall was just like what the one in the Rokujiba mansion. What a splendid hall. これはロケン島の後ろ宮家のお屋敷のホールの再現ですね。This is a replica of the hall of the Ushirima. Oh, sorry, goddammit, I'm so used to reading a teacher toy as her. This is a replica of the hall of the Ushirima mansion on Rokenjima. Yes. I've reproduced it as well as my memory would let me. I'll say you have! Holy shit! The details might be wrong, though they are not, Angie! 
これは本当にあの日の後宮家のお屋敷のホールです<笑> No This really is the hall of the Shimia family mansion on that day And then Toya's eyes fixated on something at the other side of the room Oh It was a portrait A portrait of Rokujima's other master It's exactly the same as my memories. Ushiromiya Kinzou ga Shouzou ga o kakase ta shokunin ga Shashin o motte imashita. The artist hired by Ushiromiya Kinzou to paint the portrait had a photo. Sore o motto ni Kaki o kosase mashita. I had him draw it again based on that. I was simply frozen in shock. The long, large table was filled with Halloween party food and surrounded with children stuffing themselves. The teacher said everyone we had guests. The children all looked up at us at once, then stood up and ran forward. Their broad smiles at the arrival of this long awaited guest enveloped me. Smiles and eyes of the children welcomed me. Yeah, I know. I know all of your faces. What? Oh,
Morgana, it's your name. It's uh, the house in Prada Morgana, for those who are asking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's tough. Oh my god. Oh my god! 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 See, the light will just, it's not a golden dream, will not be silly. Sad is brought about for the truth. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's an amazing ending. I dedicate this tale to my beloved witch, Beatrice. Next episode, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is beyond amazing. I don't think words can express how much I love this story. I know that, like, you know, I have my own interpretation and, you know, other people have their own interpretations of the story, but... I just... Seriously. I really can't say how much I love this story. I... I just... I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I just I don't know I feel like I've crossed something off the bucket list here I just I just I just feel like 
That's it. Okay. Yeah, for the chips. I just, I just feel like. I've gotten so much. Out of this. Like, I... Oh, check characters? I don't see any new profiles. Nobody can be uh, executed, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like the executing doesn't work anymore, which is awesome. Oh, thank God you can't execute. Seriously. I just... Yeah. This is probably... I should watch the opening. You know what? Let's end it like we ended the question arcs. Let's watch the opening. Let's let it go. Let's let this go. It'll eventually loop back to the opening. I just... This is probably my favorite story. <laughs> that I've ever, ever experienced, read, watched, whatever. I seriously can't express how amazing this experience and this story have been for me. Like, seriously, what Ryukushi did Like, he, like, in so many ways, like, the romance, the mystery, the action, the, the freaking representation uh, in a story written in 2007. Jesus Christ, which is like way more than anything I've seen in even recent stories. I just, like, for me especially, I just, that means, I, that, yeah, it'll mean think different things to me than a lot of other people. But I just... Just to prevent it from happening again, I'm just going to go into like music box or something. How do we have nothing? How do we have stuff though? Yeah, because I didn't play episode five in uh, Umi Project, so yeah, there's bound to be things that are not there. I just. I don't want that music to play, jeez. I just... <sighs> oh, thank you for the sub, Nick Ryuzaki. I just... <sighs> like, Beatrice was just... Is just... Absolutely everything to me. Well, let me grab the thing. I just have to find it. 
What is it called? Inanna's Dream. I gotta find that. Okay. Ugh. Like, to have someone like Beatrice as the leading lady, like, that, to me personally, that means more than you guys could ever imagine. Like, I, I can't find that. Oh, here we go. Inanna's Dream. Like, <sighs> for so many reasons, this story means everything, absolutely everything to me, absolutely everything. And Beatrice especially. I just... Like, just... To, to have someone like her in the, as a physician in this story, like, I've never seen anything like it. It's something like that. I, I have literally... I have dreamed of that since I was a teenager. And I just... I had, uh, I had dreamed and I thought something that would never happen in my lifetime. But here it happened like freaking 13 years before I knew. I just... Look at all these scenes. Opening is pretty badass. Punching Burn Castle, but they edit they they didn't show that that it was Burn Castle. I... Of course, Uchiha Shadow. Everybody has you know their own opinions, and I'm not gonna. I just yeah, all those spoilers. The Uineko just means literally everything to me. I, I know to different people it'll, it'll mean different things, but... <sighs> you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Seriously. Y'all are... The best. The best. I know some of you will and some of you won't, but... You know, th uh, you know, in two days, I'm going to be playing... Um, the house in Fata Morgana, and um, on alternating days, I will be playing... Oh, it's playing again. I will, on alternating days, I will be playing a Higurashi console arcs. So, if you want to see that, then, you know, you're welcome to join me. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. And, uh, until then, and, you know, for some of you so long, I'll say, uh, oh, yes, I will look back at Neko absolutely. And, uh, this is not the true end, because we have three more stories, Hane, uh, Our Confession, and um, the uh, Saku. Those three will be um, whenever Saku is played, um, whenever Saku is uh, released in English, I'll be playing that. I'll be playing all those three at once for a bit of an Umineko revival. So, until the next time, I will say so long. Farewell, Avrida Zane. Good night.
You are all the 100% absolute sweetest of hearts. See ya. <laughs>